Okay, welcome back to Manitoba Bushcrafting and Reviews. Uh, I just wanted to do a video on my both of my Mr. Ranch packs side by side just to show the scale of them and uh, give you a few uh, first impressions on my new Pintler right here. So this is roughly the size of them. This one's 21 liters. This one's 41 liters. Plus it's got the overload feature. So you can expand a lot on that. You can't really expand on this one at all. Because they didn't add any Pell's webbing to it or anything like that. It's just bare bones. No pockets on the outside or anything. And you guys have seen it quite a bit on my channel. But here I'll give you a view of both of them. Right, there we go. So that's size reference right there and uh, yeah it's basically got everything that I had in the Pintler or not the Pintler sorry the Urban Assault everything that was in there I put in here plus my sleeping bag and a few other items so uh, this one when I set up my 24 hour pack with this one I did not have a sleeping bag in it because it wouldn't fit but it fits in the Pintler uh, these packs are completely different in every, every way pretty much. This one's just got a plastic frame sheet. This one's using the Futura harness and the guide light frame. This one's got no compression. This one's got tons of compression. Uh, they're both equally as durable, I do believe, because they're both made out of 500D Cordura. Uh, um, and then the zippers are different, like not the design of them they're both y zips so they got the three three zip design by mystery ranch and uh yeah but uh i thought i'd give you a look at this the one thing i do not like about the the pintler here is there's no grab handle i either have to grab it by the frame here or by the sides of the frame here to to mount and dismount this pack Whereas even when this one was heavy, I had a lot of stuff in it. It's still got this little handle here that you can pick it up with and throw it onto your back. And it makes it a lot easier to get onto your back. This one, you kind of just have to grab it by the frame and toss it up on. But uh, that's my first impressions. I've taken this one on a short walk. This one I've had plenty of walking time with. And I, it's starting <coughs> to right now. Uh, you can see the frame sheet. Well, maybe you can't, but the frame sheet is kind of curving to my back shape over time with using it. So that's neat. It, it, it's really comfortable now. At first it wasn't really as comfortable as I thought, but over time it has grown to be quite, quite comfortable. And this thing's just ridiculously comfortable right out of the box. So uh, those are my first few impressions on the Pintler and... Uh, Comparing it to the Urban Assault, they both have a zippered pocket at the back for the lid, so they got that in common too. But uh, if you like, hit like. If you want to share, hit share. Comment down below if you got anything to say. And subscribe for upcoming videos. Okay, see you guys. Well, welcome back to Manitoba Bushcrafting and Reviews. This is probably merged with my other video. Uh, I'm taking my pack out on a hike and uh, just sitting at my favorite hiding spot here and enjoying nature and uh, yeah uh, this thing is so comfortable like I fine-tuned it I thought I had it perfectly fine-tuned but I didn't uh, I resized it again to my uh, back shape or torso length and it, it's just uh, outrageously comfortable. Um, I'm not too far from my house right now. My house is like over that way. But uh, yeah, I'm just hanging out, getting away from the, the house. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what gear you'd like to see, please drop it down in the comments. So. Uh, so I could do my best to review that gear. Uh, I'd like to stick to small gear for a little while. So just tiny things like water filters, uh, 
sleeping bag liners, stuff like that. If you got any good recommendations for stuff like that, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Well, I'll see you in another video. Bye.